It's now my pleasure to uh, introduce uh, the Honourable Brad Duguid. Um, there has been no greater champion of, of Mars over the past nine months uh, than Minister Duguid. He has, uh, I'm sure it sometimes felt like he was single-handedly uh, advancing the Mars mission. He has been an incredible advocate. Uh, we are thrilled to call him a friend. And probably more important than anything else, he's just an all-round nice guy, which is rare to say sometimes for politicians. So welcome, Minister Duguid. Well, Tim, thank you so much, and uh, I don't think I'm that well known in the Valley, but if I am, that's good to know. Uh, maybe there is uh, life after politics for me. Uh, I, I'm delighted to be here. I, you know, it's, uh, it's great to be here at Mars. Uh, we've gone two months now, and I haven't had a, a controversial question on Mars Phase 2, so it's so good. Uh, I, I think of that quote from the A-Team, it's great when a good plan comes together, and uh, we had a good plan there. It ran into some challenges, and it's now come together. We're finishing. I mean, lo and behold, all we're doing is finishing the project. That's all we had to do at the end of the day. It took a little bit of pushing and a little bit of work to get there, but it's nice to be able to be back in Mars, back talking about positive things uh, like we're, we're here today. And uh, I've got to tell you, uh, Craig, it, it was, it was interesting. Congratulations, by the way. It, this is your first... Uh, conference, uh, crowd, Canadian Crowdfunding Summit. It sounds, a summit sounds so, uh, so huge. Uh, and, and it's sold out, that's awesome. Give, you can give them a round of applause for that again. <laughs> but I don't want you to get too carried away with it. I mean, I think of our, our Toronto Maple Police, they're sold out every night, and look at their success uh, this year. Uh, uh, we, we've still got a lot of work to do, uh, and, uh, I, uh, and they do too, obviously. Uh, but I'm delighted to be here. This is a really important gathering. Uh, crowdfunding is something that is, I think, very, very important uh, in our efforts to build that next generation economy. And the National Crowdfunding Association uh, is a really important player in helping to ensure that Ontario and Canada remain at the forefront of what is, I think, a budding new uh, disruptive way of, of helping startups get off the ground and, and scale. Uh, I often look at it, uh, and, and you know, I think one of the, th one of the things I, we can be proud of is in Ontario, we are a North American leader. There's no place better to hold a summit like this than Toronto. I mean, Ontario is the, the home to the largest number of crowdfunding portals in North America. That's something we can be proud of. We're also the North American leader in donation-based crowdfunding. And these days, every time you pick up the paper, you see some really good initiatives being taken through crowdfunding uh, on the donation area. Uh, Toronto Waterloo Corridor, uh, which is fast becoming, uh, I think, uh, really well known in the Silicon Valley and fast building a reputation as the place probably producing some of the best entrepreneurs anywhere in North America, if not anywhere in the world today, has raised over $22 million through crowdfunding, uh, which is uh, helpful in creating jobs, spurring innovation, and cultivating entrepreneurship. And we have examples, and you have some great stars that are going to be here later in the day. Dream Key, uh, their drone business, I think they've generated uh, over a million dollars, $1.6 million, I believe, uh, through crowdfunding. That helped get, the, get them up and going. And you've got Polar, a, a modular a magnetic pen company. I'm not quite sure what that is, but uh, you'll have to tell me when they make their presentation later on today. But they've had 14,000 backers, so that's just a small example of some companies that have used, crowd, used crowdfunding to be able to, to grow and actually uh, uh, just start up and get going. But Canada is also the, uh, the home of, uh, of, our, of the crowdfunding champion, I think, of North America, Eric Migakovsky, uh, a University of, uh, of Waterloo grad that everyone here knows as the founder of the very successful Pebble. I had a chance to uh, meet with Eric about a month ago, and he and his team were all jacked up about something, and they were telling me something big's about to happen. Uh, I didn't realize until last week exactly what he was talking about, but as you know, they used Kickstarter to get Pebble up and going, their smartwatch uh, company, years ago, and they broke all records at that time. Well, last Tuesday, he's broken his own records again, and it's a great story. He set out to raise half a million dollars to grow his business, 
It took him 17 minutes to get there. Uh, another 30 minutes, he was up to 900,000. And in two days, he was up to $10 million raised. That's just a phenomenal story. And it just speaks to how powerful this tool is uh, in being able to help uh, startups and, and companies uh, raise money, and not only raise money, but scale, which is really, really important. I kind of see crowdfunding as the great equalizer. Uh, it gives entrepreneurs an opportunity to, to be able to scale up and, 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 uh, and start their businesses without necessarily having to have great connections in the financial community. In some cases, it totally bypasses the financial community. Uh, and, uh, and frankly, uh, their funding is really based on the merits of their idea and how well that they can sell it uh, through crowdfunding. And we've got examples uh, as well, not just of companies, but when we look at sectors uh, of entrepreneurs, and I see, see some women in the room, and that's fantastic. Uh, but the fact is, only 6% of women entrepreneurs attract funding through traditional venture capital. I think that's something we've got to take a good look at and figure out why that's the case. Uh, but the other fact is, uh, the crowdfunding, uh, it, there's five times the number of women doing crowdfunding today. So that tells us something else, that crowdfunding is a vehicle for some of those that might not traditionally access those traditional venture capital routes uh, to be able to get their businesses up and going. I'm really uh, pleased at the prospects of equity-based crowdfunding, and uh, you're absolutely right uh, when you talked earlier on, uh, Tim, about, uh, about some of the work I did earlier on when I was in this post previously. Uh, and I did have the opportunity to speak to a crowd, similar crowd, and some of you may have even been there, where I, I had the permission of the Premier, I didn't do it without permission, uh, to make an announcement uh, ahead of the Ontario Securities Commission, which is highly unusual, but the Premier of the day and I felt that Ontario needs to be uh, at the forefront in North America. And it's really important for our, our entrepreneurs that we not fall behind other jurisdictions in North America so our entrepreneurs can raise money from here in Ontario through things like equity crowdfunding. So we did jump out ahead of the Ontario Securities Commission a little bit by announcing that Ontario was really big into crowdfunding and we really uh, wanted to declare that we were going to have crowdfunding in Ontario. Uh, and. And we're getting there. <laughs> and uh, it, it probably ruffled a few feathers in the Ministry of Finance at the time, but, but that's okay, uh, because sometimes you have to ruffle feathers to get things done. But I'm really proud of the way the Ontario Securities Commission is moving forward, and, and they really have uh, stepped up to the challenge. And I know they still have some more work to do. It really is important that they get it right in terms of investor protections. Otherwise, all of our efforts, if, if they were to fail, and there were to be some, some horrible examples where it doesn't work, could set us back. So I, I wish them well in their work. And, and I know that very, very soon, and there may be some people here from the Ontario Securities Commission, I know very soon, I expect that they'll be coming forward with, uh, with their provisions, and I'm hoping we're out ahead of the rest of North America, if not at least keeping up, because that's really the, the crucial uh, initiative that I, we wanted to move forward with. It's also important uh, that, that we utilize crowdfunding for, for social enterprise. And that's an area that, is, as minister, really excites me. We are a leader in Ontario in this area. And when I was down in the Silicon Valley not long ago, uh, speaking to the governor's office down there, they see Ontario as being the leader. And it's kind of cool to be down in California, which is kind of the leader for everything in this business, in this sector, to see that, hey, wait a minute, uh, we've got a little bit of a lead on you in social enterprise. And the fact that they're so interested in what's going on in Ontario tells me that they're nipping at our heels. So we've got to keep that social enterprise sector going and keep, keep that lead that we have in North America. It's now about a $2 billion sector across the country. And in the next 10 years, it should grow to be about a $30 billion sector. And the fact that we're a leader is great. And I want you to know we really do believe in social enterprise. It's not only a vehicle for social good, uh, but also uh, a great opportunity for us to keep building uh, that next generation economy because we really do see it as a very important contributor of that next generation economy. And that's why we've invested in initiatives like the Social Enterprise Dem Demonstration Fund where we help uh, get some of these, uh, these businesses up and going. 
And that's why we've been a big supporter of the SVX, uh, which is North America's first social finance platform to connect investors and uh, investment-ready enterprises. Something we're really excited about and something now we are partnering with California and there are probably other opportunities for us internationally to partner with. There's no question that our efforts are paying off. And you know, Ontario's now number six in the world for startups. I, I would say 10 or 15 years ago, I don't even think we even made the list. We're number six in the world, Waterloo's number 16. That Ontario Waterloo corridor, uh, with Ottawa also doing some fantastic stuff, is really starting to make, a, make, make inroads across North America. And there's no question in my mind, we're now number two in all of North America in ICT, next to California. We're up ahead of New York now uh, when it comes to the number of uh, ICT companies. 19,000 ICT companies now in this province of Ontario. So that tells me we're on the right track. That tells me we're building that next generation economy. And it also makes me all the more enthused and excited uh, that we continue to be a leader when it comes to crowdfunding and equity crowdfunding because that's one of the important tools for us to be able to maintain that position of leadership in North America. And so I'm absolutely honored to be here with you today and I guess it's now my responsibility to declare the 2015 Canadian Crowdfunding Summit officially open and clap for that. <laughs> Is there a bell from the Apparently there's a bell for me. Oh, there it is. Apparently there's a cowbell for I've been looking I've been looking forward to doing this all day long. Here we go.